Hello. Once installed R in your computer, it's time to start working with it. So, double click on the R icon in your desktop. Okay, this is the R graphical user interface, also known with the acronym of R guy and it represents a graphical way to interact with R. It is not the only available guy to work with R. There are a lot of guy. For example, there is uh, R Studio that is, according to my opinion, the most important and also the most useful guy to work with her. But um, at the beginning, uh, it is easier to start working with R by using the classical R guy. Uh, time after time, uh, tutorial after tutorial, when uh, we will be more confident uh, about the usage of R, we will start working with R Studio guy. However, if you want to use R Studio Guy, no problem. Everything I will show by using the classical R Guy will work the same by using R Studio Guy. So every time you open the R Guy, uh, you can see in this area called our console for different messages. Uh, the first message is about uh, the version installed, the date of release, the name of the version, the platform. Second message is about the license. In the third message, we can find information about how to cite R or R packages in the publications. Finally, in the last message, we can find a command uh, to close R to open the help. Then we find two symbols in red. These two symbols represent the prompt, I mean the position where the user types is command. Uh, for example, I want to type this command, so I write citation with round brackets, then I press enter in my keyboard and you can see the way how to cite R in the publications. If you want, you can change the aspect of R guy. Select edit in the menu bar, then guy preferences. Here you can, for example, change the font, the size, the style of the font, you can, cha you can change the color of your background. Uh, as you can see in this small window, uh, you have a kind of preview of settings you have selected. But if you want to apply all these settings directly to the R guy, just press the button apply. When you have finished to select your settings, press OK. Now the question is, should I 
repeat all these operations every time I open a new session of our guide? The answer is no, because if you want, you can save your settings. Press the button Save, select a directory, and then select a name. For example, guy prefer preferences, then save. Okay, so now let's close the R guy. To close the R guy, select Find, and then Exit. Otherwise, as you can see in the R console, the command to close R is Q with the round brackets. Select No, I will show you in the next video tutorial how to save the workspace image. So now, Let's open once again R. As you can see now, we have the default settings of the R console. Select Edit, Guide Preferences, Load, grab the file you have created, open. Okay. That's all. See you in the next video tutorial.